Hello wonderful people, welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back update as in the hot uh, happy new week. I say new Monday all together and I pray that the almighty Chukwoki Kabiyama uh, will grant all your heart desires as it they go. I uh, mean why if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, please go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share and also uh, on your notification button so that whenever we are posting our news you will be the first to get it let's go down to the news proper as it the hot uh, peter Mba, the governor of enugu state has asked enugu state residents to shun sit at home order the governor of enugu state has uh, told the, the uh, his indigents and citizens of enugu state to shun uh, the sit at home order not to do um, anything with it. Well, meanwhile, I was wondering why uh, this is, this should be uh, the first thing Peter Mba uh, will be doing immediately he enters office to start tackling um, what the indigenous people of Biafra are doing and the rest of them. I, I'm still wondering why uh, the, the southeastern governors are so much poised on you know reacting to what is happening or reacting against the indigenous people of Biafra. There are so many other works to do in his office, you know, entering new, you're paying the worker's salary, making sure that other things are okay. I don't know why they always go straight in attacking the indigenous people of Biafra, making sure that that, that movement does not have any meaning, but we are yet to understand about that, but I think it's too early uh, for him to start that way in his office. There are so many other things he could have done for the people of Enugu State. Meanwhile, let's go down to the news proper so that you can hear from the horse's mouth. The Enugu State government has asked schools and businesses to quit observing Monday sit at home directive issued by indigenous people of Biafra. Pitamba, the state governor, issued the order in a public service announcement on Saturday. The directive is well to his annulment of Monday sit at home in the state, effective from June 6th. The governor asks residents to go about their activities without fear, assuring them adequate security measures have been taken to guarantee their safety. He also added that a task force will be deployed to monitor compliance. This is to inform all schools, markets, retail outlets, hospitals, transporters, malls, and the general members of the public that in view of the recent ban slash cancellation of Monday sit at home by the government of Enugu State in all nooks and crannies of the state, they have been directed to go about their normal businesses and activities every day of the week, including Mondays, the statement reads. The above mentioned bodies and others alike are required to comply with the directives as adequate security measures have been put to guarantee their safety. Members of the government tax force will be moving around to monitor compliance. Let's build a peaceful, secure, prosperous Enugu state together. Um, well, meanwhile, uh, he has given his order, yes, uh, but I don't think um, we are in a tyranny uh, 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 era or maybe in the stone age uh, his office is not even a monarchial office or that of authoritarian we are in a democratic state i don't think that um it is the work of a governor to come up and command people uh, to do what they want, don't want to do because you are talking to individuals when you talk about markets when you talk about supermarkets, when you talk about all these things, you see that this, some of these businesses are people's individual businesses. They have their shops. They are running by themselves. So I don't think um, it is the governor has the right to start commanding people. Yes, he might have the right to you know, talk about in the area of the schools and the, every other thing that concerns the government. But an individual that is doing business in the market makes the profit for himself. The government never supported that individual in order to be able to raise up money to start his business. So the governor giving this kind of command that uh, all the shopping malls, businesses must open and he is deploying a tax force to make sure uh, that that is achieved. I, I don't think that people should be forced to do what they don't want to do. And meanwhile, 
we are in a democratic era. Nigeria is running a democratic government. So what the governor should have done is to liaise with people. Let there be dialogue. Dialogue with the people. Hear from your people. Hear from your. This is your. This is barely uh, one week in the office, and you have started giving directives and commands. So what you should have done as a man who has the interest of the people at heart is dialogue with your people. Dialogue with the people you are leading. Understand their own part of the story, their experience. Meanwhile, you, you've been a high-profile man. You, uh, you have uh, people that protect you. Your house is safe. Uh, even now, as a governor, you have your, 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 governor, your governor's convoy, your security personnel and all that. And these security personnel are ready to die for you because that is their work, to protect the governor and make sure that the governor is safe. So you, as a governor, will not sit in your own comfort zone and start commanding people who had experienced some things on the street that, that has made them to decide to be observing the seat at home order. So, I, I, on another note, I don't even think that what uh, Peter Mba, the governor of Enugu State, should be facing now is tackling the seat at home and the rest of them. There are other works that he, he could have done for the uh, people of Enugu State. And then this uh, telling people, compelling people not to observe the sit at home order is not even what you will do by force. There is a way you will, you will bring in security. There is a way you start, uh, even the, the people that are doing the sit at home, the, the IPOB members, there is a way you dialogue with these people, call them for a meeting, talk to them. It's just that Nigerian politicians are here to understand what leadership is. You are a ruler, you are a leader. Your work is not to be giving command to the people as if they are your sheep, as if they are your slaves. The citizens of Enugu State are not slaves to, to, to Pitamba. They are, they, are, they, they are indigenous and citizens of that state. They are not slaves that you, you should start commanding them anyhow. Yes, what you should do is go to these people, these IPOB members, that you feel that um, what they are doing uh, is, is not uh, in good, affecting the state in a positive way. Have a dialogue with them. Call them together. Have a meeting with them. Hear from them. Hear them out. And from that your dialogue, you will be able to know your next step. You even know who is who. The people that are the main IPOB and the people that are not the main IPOB, the people that are faking it. So if you are marshalling out now your, your tactics on tackling those who are not the main IPOB that are using these things to perpetrate because there are people using this uh, IPOB stuff to perpetrate evil, to carry out their evil, evil stuffs. So you can issue a command and say, um, everybody should go to their work on Monday. And these people who are hiding under the, brother, under the umbrella, under the shell of the IPOB to commit evil crime, can go against these people and they will blame it on the IPOB members. And there will be lost of lives. And by then, you find out that you've ended up doing nothing. So I think um, a Nigerian should stop this once they give you power. You feel that because power has been given to you, you have the right to do anything. You look at the people as if they are chicken. You look at the people as if they are, they are your subjects. The people are not your subjects because they are the one. The people, the, if, if democracy should be you know, uh, 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 interpreted, interpreted rightly, First of all, Lincoln said democracy is the government of the people by the people. Now, you, you should understand that these people by their voters card put you into the office. So the people who should be the government is even the populace who elected you into that office because without their mandate, without them voting you in, you, you would not even be there. So now everything should be in the interest of these people and not you. Their safety should confess. Their protection should confess. Their emotional, their emotion should confess. It's just that Nigerians don't even understand all this thing. They don't understand that, that there is what is called emotion. There is what is called uh, uh, people's security and all that. They just give all that what, what they want to do and do what they want to do. They don't care who, who goes in for it. They don't care who the thing affects. I think that even these uh, Nigerian uh, uh, leaders, there should be an orientation for them because if they have a good orientation, they will be able to know what to do in that office. 
and not to start commanding the people as if the people are their slaves and subjects. Meanwhile, I'll be winding down the curtain here, and if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. That's the only way you can say, wow, these guys are doing good work. Here, subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever we are posting news, you'll be the first to collect it. Thank you for listening. God bless you.